So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the Cydia application. And first we have to download an application from it called Boss Prefs. So you search it and there you have it. Boss Prefs. So that is the first application that you have to download. And um, you don't have to do anything with it right now. You can just return to Cydia and download the other applications that you're gonna need. So then we have to add this source. It's called D dot I mobile cinema. So there it is. iMobile Cinema. I can't type the fastest because I can only use one finger because I have this tripod for my camera kind of stands in the way from my other hand. So sorry about that. But here it is d.imobilecinema.com. I will have that in the video description. And I have seen that there has been some errors with this source, but I downloaded this today and then it works perfect. So that, then you have to download that source, click done, I have already done that so I'm not going to do it again. And this is all the packages in it. You will see iMobile Cinema, iMobile Cinema BP controller, iMobile Cinema SV controller, and iMobile Cinema BP controller is Boss Press controller. So Boss Press, Boss Press sorry, is an application where you can enable uh, like 3G and other kind of stuff and then first you have to download iMobile Cinema so we downloaded Boss Press so that we can enable it and disable this so go ahead and download iMobile Cinema and it's something like it's less than 200 kilobytes so it shouldn't take a long time to download wait for it to load and by the way if you have SB settings you can download the iMobile Cinema SB controller then you can enable it and disable it in SB settings instead of boss press but I think boss press is better because SB settings is kinda glitchy for me I don't know if it is for you but for me it doesn't even work so now it is done when I return to Syria and uh, then when I download BP controller or SP controller whatever you want to use I prefer the BP controller then you install that confirm and uh, if you don't know what this does the uh, flash player, I mean, it's basically so that you can watch videos without, you can watch, um, you, know, you can only watch YouTube videos on your iPhone, now you can watch other videos, and you can view YouTube videos when you are at the website in desktop mode. So, it is quite good to have this little tweak, or whatever you want to call it. And this shouldn't take too long to download. I think it was the, like three kilobytes or something. So now we're actually completely done. Then what you want to do is you want to reboot your iPhone. So I want to do that by clicking the home button. And uh, slide your power off. So now I'm going to skip this part because you don't have to wait for me. So now when your iPhone has booted up, you can go ahead and open up Boss Press. And now you probably can see what it does. You can enable or disable 3G from it. You can uh, enable or disable Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff. But this is what you want to look for. iMobile Cinema right here. You have to make sure that it's switched on, not off. 
you can switch it off if, if you don't want to use it anymore, but you have to be sure that it, it is switched on. And that is basically all you have to do. Now I'm going to demonstrate it. So YouTube is a website where you're going to need your flash player if you're not in YouTube in the mobile mode or whatever you want to call it. So if you're in the YouTube mobile application on your iPhone, you don't have to have this, but when you're on the desktop mode, I mean where it looks like your computer, like this, you're you have you're gonna have to need flash player. So now I'm going to just click a video. <coughs> And there is a lot to load up, so it can take a while. But now, instead of the little box icon or whatever you want to call it, you can see this play icon. And I just wanna, I just have to wait for it to finish. Now you can just click it, and then it will work. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, whatever. And please follow me on Twitter as well.